वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लास वी आर इन सेशन 16 ऑफ द चैप्टर जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इन दिस सेशन लेट अस स्टडी द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शंस द ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शंस आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू सेवरल टाइप्स लाइक द सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिएक्शंस सेकंड वन एडिशन रिएक्शंस द थर्ड वन एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शंस फोर्थ वन रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शंस फिफ्थ वन आइसोमराइजेशन रिएक्शंस देन polymerization reactions so even though we are having so many different types of organic reactions even though we need to study deeply all these types of organic reactions we majorly discuss the substitution reactions addition reactions and elimination reactions at various levels of the organic chemistry and in this particular session we shall discuss only the brief meaning of these various types of reactions and one or two examples for each and every type and wherever required that is in hydrocarbons as well as in the other chapters of 12th standard there we shall discuss separately the entire detailed mechanism of each and every type of organic reactions and of course we come across rearrangement reactions polymerization reactions and isomerization reactions up to very very less extent so no need to worry about the complete detailed mechanism of these three reactions in addition to these reactions there are some other types of organic reactions like condensation reactions pericyclic reactions etc and these condensation reactions we shall discuss separately in the chapter called aldehydes and ketones of 12th standard so now let's move into the substitution reactions what is the meaning of substitution if we take the case of cricket what is the meaning of the 12th man is yes, whenever there is any requirement a particular player will be replaced by this particular 12th man so he is he is a substitute for someone else if at all required so that is the same here in the case of organic reactions also so substitution reactions means these are the reactions in which there is a replacement of one atom or group in a molecule by another atom or group so this is the case where one specific atom or a group of atoms in a particular molecule is replaced by or substituted by another atom or group of atoms so these kind of reactions we call them as the substitution reactions and again depending upon the nature of attacking species these substitution reactions are divided into three different types one is nucleophilic substitution reactions second one electrophilic substitution reactions and third one free radical substitution reactions and of course all these three reactions along with their mechanisms are very very important as mentioned earlier here i am not discussing the mechanisms i will give you only the brief meaning of all these types of reactions and regarding the nucleophilic substitution reactions we shall discuss in 12th standard the first chapter of organic chemistry that is halogen compounds so what are these nucleophilic substitution reactions these are the substitution reactions which are brought about by the nucleophiles so nucleophile is the attacking reagent that is the reason why we call these substitution reactions as nucleophilic substitution reactions so here a group or an atom is substituted by a nucleophile along with the transfer of an electron pair from the nucleophile to the reaction center and from center to the leaving group for example this is the nucleophile as we learned that the nucleophile is electron rich and suppose this is the attacking site so this is the carbon attached to four different groups and one among them is the leaving group so in this case this particular group is replaced by this nucleophile so what happens in this process the nucleophile along with this pair of electrons will attack this particular site and the leaving group will be moved out so that the nucleophile comes in place of that leaving group and all the remaining are the same and that leaving group comes out so here a group or an atom is substituted by a nucleophile along with the transfer of an electron pair from the nucleophile to the reaction center here the reaction center is carbon and from the center to the leaving group so one electron pair is coming from the nucleophile to the reaction center and of course from this electron pair is shifted to the leaving group and in all these reactions a stronger nucleophile usually displaces a weaker nucleophile so in all these cases suppose if this is a stronger nucleophile then only this leaving group this particular group can be displaced so a stronger nucleophile usually displaces a weaker nucleophile So if we take a specific example 
in alkyl halides this halogen atom can be replaced by some nucleophiles for example like oh minus so here because of the inductive effect the halogen atom is partially negative and the r group is partially positive so that is the reason why this negatively charged the electron rich nucleophile will attack this particular center and both the electrons of this particular bond are taken away by the halogen and that results in the formation of an alcohol and this halide ion comes out of the original compound and as mentioned earlier here we are not discussing the detailed mechanisms because all these mechanisms involve some examples of hydrocarbons aldehydes ketones alcohols etc so it is better to understand all these detailed mechanisms in the respective chapters rather than discussing here and of course in most of the books you come across all those mechanisms here itself here also along in their respective chapters but to make it easy here i am not discussing any detailed mechanisms i am just giving you the meaning of the various types of organic reactions now let's move to the next type of substitution reactions and that is electrophilic substitution reactions so it's very clear from the heading itself that in these substitution reactions an electrophile is involved so these are the substitution reactions which are brought about by electrophiles so whenever electrophile is involved we call that kind of substitution reactions as electrophilic substitution reactions and these are the reactions which are characteristic of benzene and its derivatives so specifically whenever we are discussing the properties of benzene definitely we discuss the detailed mechanism of electrophilic substitution reactions here if we consider one example benzene whenever made to react with chlorine in presence of lewis acid like fecl3 one of the hydrogen is replaced by the chlorine in order to get chlorobenzene and that hydrogen and this chlorine come out as hcl even though we are writing here chlorine but the electrophile involved specifically here is cl plus so as electrophile is involved in the substitution reactions we call this one as electrophilic substitution reactions then the third type that is a free radical substitution reactions again it is very clear from the heading that here a free radical is involved so these are the substitution reactions which are brought about by the free radicals so whenever free radicals are initiating the substitution reactions we call them as free radical substitution reactions if we take a very very common example the substitution reactions of alkanes that is halogenation if we consider halogenation methane react with chlorine in presence of sunlight one of the hydrogen is replaced by the chlorine to get chloromethane and in this case the free radical formed here in presence of sunlight are chlorine free radicals and they will be attacking this methane in order to get methyl chloride and further this methyl chloride can undergo further substitution in order to give dichloromethane that is ch2cl2 and this dichloromethane on further substitution that gives chcl3 that is trichloromethane which we commonly call it as chloroform and this on further chlorination gives rise to chloroform so what is happening in all these cases at each and every step one of the hydrogen of the organic compound is replaced by chlorine and as the reaction is initiated by a free radical we call this one as free radical substitution reactions that is about the basic idea regarding substitution reactions